I love the movie Winchester 73. Now, if you're not familiar with Winchester 73, after this video, you're gonna wanna go out, rent it on Amazon Prime or wherever you get your movies and check that movie out. Because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna recreate some of the shots that they do during that movie. As its name implies, it's based off of the Winchester 73 rifle. which was also nicknamed the gun that won the West. Now the lead actor is James Stewart, who was a huge actor back in the 1900s. He's also the actor in It's a Wonderful Life. I won't try and give too much away because I want you to go out and watch the movie, but basically, James Stewart and his brother in the beginning of the movie are going after a one in a thousand Winchester rifle. You bought a Winchester 73. And it comes down to a shooting contest. The person that wins the shooting contest is the one that's gonna walk away with that one in a thousand rifle that money can't buy, right? In 1950, when the movie was produced, they didn't obviously have all the visual effects that we have today at our disposal. So to create some of the shots, they actually had to have somebody that could complete the shot do it for the video cameras, just like today, that's somebody that's a stand-in. And that's where it comes down to exhibition shooting. The man who completed those shots was none other than Herb Parsons, who, if you've never heard of him, was a tremendous exhibition shooter up through the 1950s. He stood in for James Stewart to complete the shots that I'm about to do for you here today. At this spot in the movie, James Stewart and his brother had just finished a bullseye target contest and they were still tied. So it came down to a tiebreaker where each of them were going to attempt to shoot a dollar coin out of the air. That's what we're going to do right now. <laughs> we touched it. There we go. We hit the dollar coin. You can see that I just hit the edge of it. I'm going to have to get a lot better for the next shot. What I mean by that is I'm gonna have to be very precise for this next shot. In the movie, James Stewart takes a ring, puts a stamp over the top of it, and then shoots through the center of it to win the Winchester 73, one in a thousand. I don't see any mark. That was my mistake, I shot through it. <laughs> now just to give you a perspective, I have my Winchester 73 that is shooting 38 special rounds. There's not much room for air to get that 38 special bullet through this ring. What's the size? Well, there's my pinky, and I can get it about halfway down my finger. I put the best of 3M's painting tape over the top of this ring so that we will be able to see that I shot through the center. On the second shot, we hit the ring, but I don't think it went through the center. Let's go check it out. That's what happens when you're just maybe a quarter of an inch off. On the second shot, we split the side of the ring that's not what we're here for. We got to put it through the center. Yeah, hopefully I don't do that 15 times. No, oh, not again. Just a little bit closer. A little bit more to the center. Hit it again. I just got to get one to go through the center. No big deal. Oh, everything went right on that one. Two more bite the dust. So close, but so far away. So we've pretty much used all of the rings that we had, and my wife specifically said, I can't use my wedding ring for this shot. So we're gonna switch to the washer. The size of the hole that I have to shoot through is very similar. We're gonna switch to this washer and punch that hole right through the center. After switching to the washer, it took one shot to punch that hole through the center of that washer. That's really cool to recreate the shot that was done by Herb Parsons in the movie Winchester 73 with my Winchester 73 in 38 special. If you haven't watched Winchester 73, go watch the movie. It's a fun, classic gun movie that I think you're gonna like. Appreciate y'all watching the channel. Remember, it's impossible that the shots you never take. So pull that trigger shoot for your dreams. See ya.